every single time you get too close to it, it's going to start that music track. That's that that didn't need to be added. Just saying. <laughs> Personal opinion, that didn't need to be added. Hey guys, welcome back to MOE. This is going to be episode 31. Before we get started here, as always, I would just like to say thank you guys so much for your continued support on the videos. It really does mean a lot to me. If you find yourselves liking this video, you could do me a huge favor and go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing as well. Our channel here also has its own Discord. I'll be sure to leave a link for that in the description down below. I know. Mulan. No. Mulan. No. <laughs> Mulan. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, it's fine. Mulan. <laughs> no. Uh, how do I get her to stop doing this? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. The horse is just freaking out. Uh, I would like you to go... Back to where I had you. Come on. It was an accident, Mulan. It's okay. Accidents happen. All right? We don't exactly have a way of keeping wildlife out, so the horse is fine, okay? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that was too funny. So, the first thing I want to do in today's episode, guys, is I want to address some of your comments and concerns. But while I do that... I'm going to get something done, and I'm going to like work on the soil porosity here for these planters, because I really want to test this out. So, the first thing I want to mention to you guys is um, I was curious about the Warriors and how they have that. You can see there, if, if I press F7, there's patrolling radius, and then I have not been able to figure out like how to get them to patrol. Well, I had a commenter, and thank you very much for the comment, by the way, uh, mentioned that it might not even be patrolling radius. It actually kind of seems like it's more of like a an alertness radius or an aggro radius even. So, you know, instead of like saying, okay, well, I want you to patrol a small area, it might mean that uh, I just want you to keep an ear out on a small area, so to speak. I hope that makes sense. I, I hope I'm not butchering that explanation. Um, I understand what the, what they meant, and I, I it is very possible that that could be a thing because they don't, there is no way to really tell them well, I want you to start here and then continue on. Is there a reason I can't go any further with that? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so there's just some lag. So we're actually going to plant some sorghum in here, I think. I believe that's sorghum. And we're going to see how that works. It's very possible that, you know, they don't have to be outside, but we're going to find out. And somebody may already know the answer to that question. I do not. So that's why I'm testing it. Um, we're going to work on these. But yeah, so that's it for the patrolling radius. Uh, hopefully that, I mean, if that is what it, what it means, that's, that's awesome. Um, but it would be awesome as well to be able to make them patrol, like actually have like a patrol route that you could set up for them. That would be cool. Um, but let's see here. Uh, I had somebody ask about making longer videos. Uh, now granted, it was only one or two people, but this person asked for two or three hour long videos. And as flattering as that is, I, I can't do that, guys. That's that's crazy long. Um, it takes me probably about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on what we're doing for the day, uh, just to record an episode. And then from there, I have to then edit that episode. And that takes another hour to two hours, depending. Um, the speed build video took me four hours to record, and it took me two hours to edit, which is why it wasn't up until later in the day. So you can I mean, it takes a long time to do these. Um, but I do plan on, on live streaming eventually, guys. I, I'm not completely familiar with how it all works. I've never done it on YouTube before. Um, I'm not completely familiar with Twitch. Like, I know what Twitch is, obviously, and there's people that I've, I've watched on Twitch. But I don't, I'm not completely familiar with how it works on the streamer's end. So I've got to figure that out before I can really jump into that. But I will be streaming at some point in the future, guys. So I'm really sorry. I can't do super long episodes right now. I just don't have the time for it, <laughs> especially if I want to play other games. Like, it's just, it's just not enough time. I'm really sorry about that. Um, let's see here. I had somebody else ask about admin and um, something about me using admin. Uh, I know this is going to be incredibly difficult to believe, but I do not use admin normally. I really don't. 100% <laughs> guys, I don't normally use it. I used it for the speed build to spawn in all those building pieces, and I used it to do god mode for that so that I didn't get attacked by anything. And I used it back on um, the one video where I thought it was going to be our last episode. So I kind of figured, you know what, the hell with it. We're just going to use it so we can get around and we can check things out. Now, obviously, I was able to set up this dedicated server and I was able to keep going. But no, guys, I do not use admin to, you know, 
keep myself alive or get myself a whole bunch of resources just so I don't have to go out and grind it. Like, I don't do that off camera. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but I don't. Let's see here. The Discord link. I had somebody mentioning that the Discord link wasn't working. I'm not sure why. Uh, I know that I set that to be a link that never expired, but I did go ahead, guys, and oh no. Come on, really, buddy? I did go ahead and uh, redo that link. Like, I basically made a, new, a whole new link that's supposed to not expire, and I went through all the videos that we've done since I started the Discord, and I changed out those links. So hopefully everything's working now. I'm really sorry if it's not. You know what I forgot to do is go through the comments and delete um, any of the comments that I had posted with that original link. But I'll have to do that as well. But they should it should be working now. If it ever gets to the point where it's not working, don't be afraid to, to let me know because I wasn't aware that it could do that. I thought of a link that didn't expire just didn't expire. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, I had somebody ask about building tips. Apparently, um, there's not a lot of people doing building tip videos. And that's incredibly unfortunate. Um, you know, the, the building in this game, although it's quite minimal. Oh, I don't even think we have three more slots. So what do we want to go? We want to go with probably rice we really should get going on. and Rice and wheat, actually. Let's do rice and wheat. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, I, it's kind of shocking that nobody's doing building tip videos. Now, I, I kind of did a small one a while ago. It was There wasn't a lot in it, and I apologize for that. I was still kind of new to the whole building system. Obviously, I've learned a few things since then, but before I do a building tips video, I wanted to reach out to you guys, and I reached out to my Discord community as well. And I, I just want everybody to post whatever building tips and tricks that you have discovered or you think, you know, that other people may not know, or even if you think people may know it. You know, just go ahead and share it anyway, because there's people that might not. Um, but go ahead and share that in the comments down below or share it on Discord in our MOE chat. And I will gather all of those comments and all of those tips and we'll put it into a video. Um, and, and don't worry, if, if somebody in particular has a trick that nobody else knows about, I will absolutely give you credit for that. I'm not going to steal anybody's thunder. I'm not into that. So if you've got something, go ahead and share it, guys. Absolutely. And we'll do a video on it so that we can get that out there. And other people will know, you know, how to do certain things. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the last thing I wanted to bring up really quick was my poor brother <laughs> had this awesome build that he was going to do um, before our server got shut down. If you guys haven't had a chance to really see it, I checked it out a little bit in the very last episode that we did on that server, which was the uh, bad news video. And at the very end of the video, we check out uh, my brother's uh, building that he had started. It looked really 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 cool and I feel horrible that he couldn't finish it and he actually was really really looking forward to finishing that so I told him I was like well you know what if you give me plans for it or oh, are we having that issue again if I just keep hacking it says added experience okay so it's just taking a minute um, I told him that if he gives me plans for that and he gives me you know whatever his you know inspiration was um, I can maybe draw up something and I'll do that in a speed build for him and uh, the next time I do a speed build guys there's another comment that uh, I wanted to address I will keep track of all the pieces that were used somebody asked me how many pieces were used in this one and honestly I really wasn't keeping track of each individual piece type like I don't know how many foundations it took I don't know how many walls it took you know and I'm really sorry about that I didn't really expect that people would want to know that information right away because I didn't think anybody would want to do an exact replica of this. Uh, but I will keep track for the next video. I'm really sorry that I didn't. Uh, you can see over on my uh, admin thing, it does say client side, we have 5,600 structures. Uh, so you can assume that it's it's somewhere in the 5,300-ish uh, range because there is that other building over there that I started, although I don't think that's 300 structures. So it's, you know, Although, actually, no, it says active structures on servers, 5390. So, yeah, 5300 about is, is how many building, like total building pieces. That's about all the information I have right now. Um, I could go back and do the math if anybody really wants it that badly, but it would take me a little while. All right, so now that we got those planted, let's see how well that goes. Let's check on our, our guys inside, because I see that the first thing I planted over here, which I think was soybeans, 
Yeah, these are growing. Now, I did I forgot to check the water on these plots. Okay. So they had water. All right, perfect. So now let's come over here and let's check on these really quick. Let's see. They're growing. Okay, well, I guess it's confirmed, guys. You don't have to uh, plant these outside. Although what's going to be interesting is when it's fully grown, are we going to get a perfect harvest out of it? Can you even get a perfect harvest on a crude planter? I can't remember. We're going to find out. Um, but the first thing that I wanted to do today, like for this episode, uh, is I guess put all of our seeds away. I know uh, I added a couple more chests, guys. Not too many. It's really hard to get uh, hide up here because everything is such a high level. <laughs> Poor Mulan. Like, I just got her back. I really don't want to kill her again. So let's actually, you know what? We're going to leave that stuff in there as well. We'll just put it all the way over here on this side. Let's put our skinning knife back down. Yeah, it's really hard for me to kill things up here. I'm not quite strong enough to deal with all this stuff. Um, that horse is just begging for me to tame it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else to do with that, guys. Anyway, um, so what, what I wanted to do for this episode is I wanted to try to make our base look a little nicer. Now, I don't know how I missed it last time, but I did find the wall torches. They're right here. But we need copper ore. Now, I, I have a lot of copper ingots that I had brought over with me. I don't have a lot of copper ore, so I have to run around. There is copper all over this plateau, so I am going to run around, and I'm going to go collect a bunch of it so that we can make a bunch of torches. And then what I want to do is right behind our base here, right here, is a coal mine. So I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to gather a bunch of coal, and we're going to put some torches up, and we're just going to see if maybe torches help add something to it. You know? I mean, they might. Who knows? Horse, please. Could you just... just Yeah. That's a really high-level horse. I just don't like the tail. I, that, that bothers me. But, yeah, that's what my plan is. I'm going to go get some copper. I'm going to go get some coal. We're going to see if we can get some torches up. We're just going to see if there's anything we can do to make this place look just a little bit nicer. Uh, and I do know, guys, I think tomorrow there's another content update coming. And somebody said that that's supposed to be adding some furniture into the game. So let's keep our fingers crossed for that so that we can add a little bit more. But uh, let me get some of this stuff gathered up, and then I will bring you guys back. Alrighty guys, we are back. While I was waiting for the rope to craft, I went ahead and tamed a horse that got stuck inside the base. She is... She's a level 52. I named her Epona because I'm a big Zelda fan. I know she doesn't look anything like Epona, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. It's another girl. We always seem to get the girls. Although I think we have a boy over here somewhere. Can you get up here? She is of uh, blue quality. Can you make it? Okay. I'm going to leave you over here with these two. I did put some food on her, but... Unfollow. I don't remember who's got food on them. I did make them food not too long ago. You've got some food. So we're going to take some of your food to give to her. I think I took his to tame her. Well, to feed her. I took some of his to give her a little bit, but... Does he have food in him? Oh, yeah, he's good. He's got the rest of it. Okay, perfect. Wait a minute, how did that happen? I thought she had the higher stat. Ah, uh, you know what? I probably got them mixed up. They do look really similar. All right, well, anyway, you're going to stay right there. So we got all the rope crafted. Well, we got a bunch of rope crafted. I went and I got a bunch of uh, copper ore. Now, there was an iron node, guys, right in front of where we have our base built. So I went and I harvested that. I only got a little bit of iron from it, but, you know, some's better than none. I wanted to come down here and show you guys the copper, the, the copper, the coal mine, just to show you like how close it is. It's literally right here by the hill. I never got to show this off uh, when I did, was showing you guys like where we were building um, back when I was showing this area off for the very, very first time. Because at the time, I didn't know that there was a coal mine here. But there is. Uh, now, I'm not going to go down there and try and fight any of them. I don't think that I would have that. Even just leveling up. <laughs> I think I'm still weak sauce. So, we're going to harvest what we can around the outside here. And it is daytime, so we're not going to be able to, like, terribly see the effect that the torches were, are going to add to our base. But we're going to try. Yeah. I know, look at how high those guys are. See, that guy's got a skull. That means he's more than 10 levels higher than me. That's why I ended up taming the horse. I saw that there was a skull in our base, and I was like, oh no, what is that? And it was, it was that horse, and it was just like, oh, well, okay, I'll tame a really high-level horse. She didn't end up being amazing, you know. She's just a blue quality, but that's okay. 
I'll take it. Why not? Probably going to be a long time before we get a gold quality horse. I can't believe how lucky my friend got when she was playing with us. And she got that gold horse and we just started breeding them. Um, now, something I've never tested, guys. Sorry, I'm wondering where this music's coming from. Is it that guy aggroing the pig? Oh, this is getting loud. Hold on, hold on. Did they just add music for if you get too close? Anyway, um, a question that I had... Oh. A question I want to ask you guys is... If you have horses that you're breeding, and neither one of them are of gold quality... Can you eventually just get a gold quality through breeding anyway? Like, is that just like a random thing that can happen? If anybody knows the answer to that, go ahead and leave it in the comments for me. Alright, I want this... I want this piece of coal... Okay, I'm not sure what the point of that music track is just to get over there, but okay. So how much coal do we have? Oh, we got some. We got a good amount. Now, I don't know how fast these horses are going to burn through coal. That's the only thing. Oh, come on. More music? Is that necessary? Is that really necessary? Every single time you get too close to it, it's going to start that music track? That's that, that didn't need to be added. Just saying. <laughs> Personal opinion, that didn't need to be added. Let's get this one, and then I think this is going to be... Oh, there's one more down there we could grab. I can't wait to be high enough to take these guys out. Now, what I was doing was... Uh, before, I would sit up on the ledge there, and I would just kind of snipe them with a crossbow. But, I mean, it would take a long time to kill these guys. See, I don't like how close they're getting. Hey guys, because they all have crossbows as well, so we have to take that into consideration. Oh, he hears me. No way. Did they increase their aggro range? There's no way. We used to come down here all the time and get this stuff. It's either that or he's after a, a pig or something. Which is also, wow, that's crazy that I just got two levels right there, or just got a whole level. Could he really? Did they, did they change the, the aggro range on these guys? Because like, we used to be able to come right here and get this one without any problems. Okay, see, like, that guy's right there. In fact, there's two of them right there. And the leader. The leader's over there, too. And let's be honest, if he can't see me up there, then um, that guy's as blind as a bat. Huh, okay. So maybe they were after something. Maybe they were just, like, chasing a deer or something, and I didn't see it. Because there's no reason. Unless they increase the aggro range, that is. Oh, see, now here's a real test. This guy's coming. Are you going to see me? You might. No? Okay. All right, you know what? That's it, though. That's as much as we can get. Let's get out of here. Let's put that away so we can... Wait, what was that guy freaking out about? Oh. Okay. Well, that pig's too high for us to mess with anyway. I probably killed all the low-level pigs in the area. I had a couple of deer that got stuck on our base, but I have not been, had much luck fighting things up here just yet. We really have to get into iron. And I have some iron. Like I said, there was an iron node right out in front of our base. So I harvested that, but it only gave me 30 ore. Uh, you know what? Let me get rid of that. Okay. Yeah, so we don't, we don't have enough to really do anything with, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm trying really hard to close that door. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get into that probably, hopefully in the next episode we can get some better armor because I want to be able to live up here and survive up here. Let's see. All right, we got a, we got a good amount of coal. So let's come in here. And let's actually put this stone away, and then let me grab everything I'm going to need for these torches. Oh, that's complete stone. Okay, well, let's put that down there. And we'll hold on to all the coal for now. Uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, my horse ran. I was taming a horse. And I want 
my sword back. That's probably a good idea. Okay. So we're gonna hold on to all that coal. Now we need branches, which I know I have right here. I don't know how many of these torches we're gonna make just yet. And then I made a metal chest. Here we go. Let's just grab it all. I don't think I'm gonna make like 400 torches, but let's see. So how many can we craft? Let's start with 50, why not? And they're gonna take like no time at all to craft each one. So let's do that. And then uh, I guess let's start placing them down and let's see. It would be really awesome if the torches, like, auto-turned on. That would be cool. Let's see. Do we want to put... You know what? Should we put some torches in here? Should we put a torch in here? All right. Right there. Now, what are the options on it? Repair, use permission, and open the inventory. And we can literally just put fuel in it. Huh. So I split this in half, maybe even more in half. Can, do you think 25 is enough? I'm not going to turn it on just yet. Although I wish there was a way to turn it on without having to go. Oh, you can. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. Uh, I just, I just want to get out of that inventory. Okay, so that's cool. But like, man, I wish they would just auto turn on. I can't wait for people to start modding this game. It's going to be really nice. So let's come over here and let's throw another one down right here. Okay. Put our 25 coal in it. Oh, it tells me how long that's going to last. Hold on a second. An hour and 17 minutes? Okay. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll, we'll get all these torches going, and then, like, when nighttime comes, we'll be able to actually light them all and, and get a good look at it. So, where else do we want torches? Maybe we should put torches on either side of this door? Let's see. It's really hard to do in first or in uh, third person. So we'll put one there, and then we'll come over here, and we'll put the one there. Split that in half. That's cool. I like that. Uh, I don't remember it always telling us how long, like your fuel was gonna last. So I don't know if that's new or if I was just not paying attention. It's very possible. <laughs> Yeah, that'll look nice. Okay. So then we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing. Uh, okay, and we want to split. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that should look nice. Uh, we should probably put some back here in this corner as well. I can't remember how bright these are. Uh, I used torches once when I first got on this, uh, or my G Portal server. Boy, the hitbox is a little... Open inventory, there we go. There we go, and then let's put one on the other side, and then that'll probably be enough for this courtyard. We'll start going up and doing that area. Excuse me, Mulan. She was trying to come after the horse that I wanted to tame because it accidentally ran into me. As they do, of course. Okay, that went in. <laughs> All right, so now let's go up. I'm not going to worry about the inside right now. Let's just kind of worry about the outside because I'm not using that space other than, you know, horse taming because that's just convenient. Let's... Whoa, that's really close. Put one there. Can I open your inventory? Okay, and then we've got to do some more splitting. Is there a button that lets you split these in half, guys? Does anybody know? Um, is it right there in front of my face and I'm not even seeing it? That's very possible. I'll have to look in a sec. Hold on. Let's see. Take one iron tran- Oh, no, there's just instructions on how to transfer. Well, if anybody knows if there's a way to, like, split things, like if there's a button for it, uh, by all means, let me know. And then, let's see, where else do we want another- Do we want another torch right here in the corner? That'd probably be a good idea, right? Okay, we can do that. Uh, whoops, no, don't crouch. I don't want to get there in six years. This poor guy is so slow. I can't wait.
to get my skills back up to where they were. I'm so used to how I was when, uh, when I had my server going. So my character feels really weak and really slow, and it just, it's, it stinks. Uh, open inventory? There we go. Okay, so, huh. Are, am I still crafting torches? Oh, wow, okay, so they only stack in ten. That's good to know. Okay. That's probably going to be good for the front, right? I don't think you can put them on these pillars. Let's, let's test it. Oh, no way, you can put them on the door frame, like the side of the door. Okay, well... Let's see, we got two doors, and then I think I think there's six total doors, so why don't we... Oh, this is going to be tough. It looks like it's in line with like this, this section right here. Can I... There we go. Split some more of these. Okay, there we go. And then we want to do one right here. And I want it to be in line with this one right here about. Okay. And we'll do that. All right, so that's probably what we're going to do along the front of each floor. So let me let me actually get that done. Or actually, I don't even know what, how much time we're on. Yeah, let me get that done really quick, and then I'll find out how much time we have left the episode. And I'll bring you guys back. Alrighty, guys, we are back. I finished placing uh, as many torches as I could for the fuel we had. I think I have, yeah, I have enough for like maybe one more torch. But all I covered so far was just the front of the building here. Uh, honestly, I think it came out really, really cool. I think this looks fantastic. Like, it's unbelievable how much just adding torches can do for it. Like, that looks really cool. Uh, but anyway, you know what? It is actually coming up on the end of the video. So, I think that's what we're going to do, is we're going to end the, the video for now. But thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I really hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the day. I hope to see everybody come back for the next episode. And until then, bye guys!